Hey, Shalom, Sister Kate here. Today's video is about timing. I'm up at the kitchen. Yes, I know I have the work hat on. Sorry. Um, timing, yes. So, what I'm doing up here today is I'm making pickles. And I have a video on pickling. Pickling is a thing. You can pickle anything. It's a process. So you can make cauliflower pickles. You can make green bean pickles. You guys probably already know that. What's my point? Well, it's September. It's mid-September and I have cucumbers growing. This is a pickling cucumber. I have more than one variety of cucumber growing. This is like a more standard variety. It's going to be longer and bigger. Why is that unusual? Well, because September in the mid states where I have lived in the past, it's too late for cucumbers. Cucumbers should have already been done by like July or August for sure. And the plants normally would be drying up and no more uh, pollinating going on, etc. Except now I'm in a different time zone, <clears throat> different uh, garden belt, and so I have um, cucumbers in the middle of September. And I planted them late. I'm, I'm willing to admit that. I think I planted those guys in like August. Um, I bought them started, so I got to plant plants, but I also planted some seeds, and by golly, those things came right up. Um, so whether I intended it or not, I, I'm pickling again, which I've already done and thought I might be finished with, which it's still a good thing. Um, but timing is important in gardening, and so timing... Um, just a few little tips if you don't know these things. You should have your potatoes in the ground by St. Patty's Day. Um, cold weather crops like cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, they're cool weather because the plants like cool weather and you should plant them early like end of January, beginning of February. Um, or end of the season garden like I did last year with the um, Brussels sprouts that I planted in October and then got to enjoy eating in June. So, um, those are the cold weather crops, spinach, lettuce, peas. Then your warm weather crops are like your tomatoes, your peppers, your cucumbers, your corn, all of that goes in so that they enjoy the heat of the summer months. So you put them in end of April, early May, so they're getting baked by the 100 degree temps in June and July because those plants really like it. That's what makes peppers produce fruit and tomatoes ripen and stuff is how hot it gets. So, you know, if you're going to garden, try to think of your timing and plant within that. Now, timing can be applied elsewhere, as we all know. And um, procrastinators like to come up with ideas, let them sit and stew for a while, and then eventually, when the time is right, put those plans into action. Uh, there are other people who are on the spot people uh, who have ideas and then want to do them right away. People who come home from the grocery store and put the groceries away or people who are changing clothes and instead of dropping clothes on the floor for later, put them in the hamper or hang them right up. I'm not saying either one's better because people do get things done. Um, I'm just saying timing is something to think about. Hillary Clinton collapsed at the 911 memorial today. We have a presidential election coming up soon. We have storms and, and uh, earthquakes happening. Timing. Are you waiting for the perfect timing to start your prepping, to start your gardening, to do anything? Or are you someone who sees stuff coming and is starting to do stuff now? Because I think prepping is a now. Sees something coming and decides to get worked on it. And if you don't have enough indications right now that it's probably a good thing, FEMA, um, Homeland Security, first, I mean, a Red Cross, all saying get prepped. I think it's okay for you to now tell yourself it's time for me to do something. And it's also <clears throat> time in the year, like kids are going to college, you can sign up for first aid classes. So I took a masonry class with a county that I was in, and I learned how to lay block and brick. Um, you're old enough now. You're smart enough now. You have enough time now. Start prepping now. Start acquiring yourself skills and supplies for the day when an emergency comes, because guaranteed an emergency will come in your life sometime. So have your stuff ready to deal with it. And bless you, this is a great time. Shalom. 
And for those few of you who are sitting there thinking, wow, I really want to eat a dill pickle right now, and what happened with those pickles? Here they are. Up here, they're in green jars, because I happen to get some green jars at a family dollar store. And then over there are the ones in the clear jars. And you can see I processed pints this time. They all canned and sealed. And then right back there in the quart jar is the leftover brine, which I will take down to the house. And I can put any vegetable in there. It will sit in there in the fridge for a day or two and then taste like pickle or taste like a pickled whatever the vegetable is. So there they are for you who are going to ask. Yum, yum, and they are pretty tasty. So it's time to get doing it yourself. All right, bless you.